Hey, what's going on everybody? In today's video, I will be showing you guys how to make a Starbucks in Minecraft. Uh, this is a complete remake because I simply just did not like the recent Starbucks design. You know, I just couldn't live with it, so... As soon as this video is uploaded, the original Starbucks design will be deleted off the channel. Um, but yeah, honestly, I think this is definitely way better and I think it's a definite improvement. We have a crosswalk with Starbucks since uh, the parking lot was not in the great uh, size, but we do have a crosswalk, which I guess is kind of, which is definitely new. Uh, we're going to come inside here, give you a quick scan of the interior, and then just, some, and then, uh, uh, and then I'll, uh, show you guys, uh, more, I'll give you guys into more detail of this interior. This interior looks really good, so I can't wait to get you guys into detail at the end, so, um, without any further ado, let's get into this tutorial, so, uh, what you guys are going to need to do is make a 23 by 31 block area on the ground like this. Please make sure you make this grid in your world as it will help you with your city builds. Or as it will help you to make the build. Uh, don't make the numbers, that's just so I know how much space you're going to need. Um, the amount of, so what you guys are going to need as materials wise is white, gray, black, and dark green concrete. Dark oak planks, dark oak slab, dark oak plank slab, um, uh, glass pane, yellow carpet, uh, smooth stone, leaves or flowers, doors, light gray concrete, uh, stick quartz stairs, and we also need gray, or not gray, but uh, grass block. Look at the stairs, oh, you have to sign. Um, Alright, and then you guys are also going to need. <gasps> Excuse me. You guys are also going to need white concrete and green banners. If you guys do not know how to make banner letters, there is a link to the video in my description box below. So you guys can go check that out if you guys don't know how to make banner letters. But, yeah, without any further ado, let's get into this tutorial. So the materials you are going to need right now are white and gray concrete, yellow carpet, smooth stone, and leaves. You're also going to need grass block. Um, I don't have that in my chest right now, but it, it is... I did tell you to grab it, as you can see right there. So, yeah, you're also gonna need grass block. Um, but yeah, let's. So, uh, what you guys are gonna do first, obviously, as we always do, uh, you're gonna knock out three blocks on either end of the grid, and then you're gonna extend them all the way to the end. You're gonna take the three blocks and extend them to the end, like so. Uh, so then, once you get that done, you are going to basically um, extend these. Yes, yeah, so you're going to extend these to the end. And then what you're going to do is you're going to come over here, and you're going to do the same on the other side. Basically, extend the three blocks all the way to the end of the grid. All right. So, once you get that done. You're going to uh, do the back. So, like, once you do it to the back as well, because obviously uh, we don't want just two rows. We also want a third row at the back, so people can actually get to the window. Honestly, I feel like this is too zoomed in. There we go. That's better. Sorry about that, guys. I have to zoom the camera out more because I felt like it was too zoomed in. I wanted you guys to see everything, so. Yeah, so once you guys have that done, I'm talking a little quiet, so you might want to turn your volumes up a little bit. Um, but, yeah, so once I have, um, once you have this done, that's basically the drive-through complete. That looks really good. You're then going to come onto the front here, and you're going to leave a gap of one. Or you're going to make, you know, sure that the grid part here, as you can see, is a gap of one from the drive-through on both sides. Then, on either side of this grid here, you're going to knock out four blocks and then fill it in with gray concrete. Alright, and then once you've done that, you're basically going to uh, fill this in with uh, grass. Or with, uh, yeah, with grass, and then you're going to put leaves on it, or flowers, you can do either or. Um, and then what you're going to do is, uh, let me just check here, hang on, my eyes are very itchy. Sorry, okay. Uh, right. 
you're going to put two rows, we usually do three, but we're going to do two now, two rows of gray concrete. All right, and then once you've done that, we're going to make the rest of the parking lot, so this literally doesn't take long at all. So and then what you're going to do is you're going to, we're going to do this on both sides, because uh, this is just how it's going to work. So let's see. So we're going to come over here. I'm going to see. Yes, there's two spots on either side. So what you guys are going to do is you're going to come over here and you're going to knock out four blocks and fill it in with white concrete for the parking space. Leave a gap of three. One, two, three, four. Gap of three. And then one, two, three, four. But you're not going to continue. You're going to go on the other side and do the same thing by going the opposite direction. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Because remember, the um, parking lot is awkwardly uh, made, so not a lot, not all the spaces will be able to fit. You can see here. Uh, yeah, this would just be awkward. this would not be the right size. So, um, so we're gonna make a crosswalk using just lines going across. And uh, yeah, that's the crosswalk, guys. It's a little crosswalk. I added so it kind of so that, so that so that there's like not nothing here, <clears throat> if that makes sense. So just kind of put something there so it's not all just completely blank. All right, we're gonna come up here. All right, and then we're going to put the um, I'm gonna put this here. And then we're going to put the gray concrete. And we're going to do this on the other side here. All right, and then once you've done that, um, you uh, basically have the parking lot almost complete. So then you're going to place yellow carpet on the tops here like this. Um, yeah, so then now those would be the little bumpers for the parking lot or parking spaces. I don't really know what those are called, but once you have that done, you're going to place a row of smooth stone across the back of this parking or parking lot here. Or not really the back, I say the front. Uh, this is supposed to be like a little walking area, a little area where you just kind of stand around and walk. Um, so yeah, once you've done that, that's basically the parking lot and the drive through complete. Congratulations. Um, so once you've gotten that done, we're going to get rid of these materials and then we are going to um, alright so we're gonna grab our building materials so we're gonna grab black concrete uh, green concrete uh, dark oak wood planks dark oak wood slab uh, the glass uh, white concrete um, and we also need doors as well hang on let me just grab those I don't have those in the chest with me but you're also gonna need doors and yeah, I believe that's it, but if we need more, we can always grab it, so... Yeah, so what you're going to need now, or what you're going to need to do now, is, uh, let's see. Oh, let's see how much this is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so eight. So that's, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like that. Then you're going to come over here. Uh, the same on this side as well. So that's... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In fact, you can pretty much do this all around here. Make sure that the building is one block away from the drive through all the way around. So remember, all the way around, one block away from the drive through And then, yeah, that'll be that part of the building. Okay. Um, and then what you want to do is you want to leave a gap of two from either side. Or, or in fact, you can just put doors. Two, two... The heck? Hang on. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. Okay. So before we add the doors, because this will make things a little less confusing, we're going to come up here and we're going to add um, the planks here. And then you're going to put black concrete, gap of two, black concrete, gap of two, black concrete. And then you're going to add uh, dark oak wood planks. There we go. You're also going to do this on this side. 
All right, and you're gonna go ahead and add the black concrete, and then gap a two, black concrete, gap a two, whoops, gap a two. All right, so you see what we did there? Okay, I don't know if you guys can really see that well. It's, uh, I don't know why it's like, it's kind of blinding. I don't know if you guys can see really, but it's a little, I don't know, something with the camera. I don't really know, but a little hard to see. But maybe that's just me. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but I think you guys know what I'm, uh, what I've did there. Alright. Okay, yeah, now it works. Okay, I was a little confused. You're gonna add the middle here. God dang it. You guys can obviously see what I did there. With the planks, and then we're gonna add the doors here. Seriously, I feel like it's, like, too bright. Like, you can't, you guys can't, like, you guys can't really see much here. I don't know. It's weird. But then you're gonna fill in the windows with the glass, obviously, as you would think. Um, which makes sense, you know, because why wouldn't we? They're windows. Well, I fill them in with glass. <laughs> so... So, yeah. Oh, god dang it. That's not where it needs to go. There we go. Alright, so then once you've gotten that done, um, you know what? I think we'll do the sides now. Usually we do the sides uh, a little later, but we're going to do it now just so we can get it done. So, basically, there's two windows on each side. So you're going to put black concrete, <clears throat> gap of two, black concrete, gap of two, black concrete. There's two windows. Um, and obviously there's not enough room on the sides for a, a drive through window, so we're going to place it on the back. Um, okay, and basically, you're going to come over to the end here, and you're going to place three of planks here, as you guys can see. I'm going to place two rows, and then you're going to go ahead and add your windows. Gap of two, gap of two, and fill it with glass. I didn't do it on that side. I, I always forget to place the windows, or fill in the windows, that is. So, you obviously, don't, don't forget to fill in the windows. That uh, was a little friendly reminder. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely talking quiet, quietly, so don't. Or so definitely turn up your volumes, cause uh, yeah, I'm uh, talking a bit quiet here. All right, so then you're gonna take your the middle of the doors and you're gonna line it up with the back, so then the drive-through window is nice and centered, and then so you know, it's just, it's just nice and centered once you get this done. So yeah, there's that. Okay, you're gonna place a row of green concrete above everything you just made. Okay, so this doesn't take long at all. It's just placing green concrete on everything you made. Okay, and then once you've done that, you are going to place, actually, let's do the sign first. So the sign, I think it goes up to the windows, yes. Okay, so you're gonna come over to the front. We're gonna do the sign now. So you see where we have the windows, right? And you see where we have this last window, we have this last gray black concrete, right? You're going to place green concrete there. Then you're going to come over to the, le to the right side. And you see where we have this last, uh, the, gray, the, the black concrete that's nearest to the door. So you see where this is, right? You're going to place green concrete above that. And you're going to connect them. And I believe it's two blocks out. Let me just check. No, it's only one. Okay, okay. And I believe it's one, two... One, two, three, four. Yeah, it's four blocks high, so then you add three blocks on top, like this, and then you basically extend it backwards a row, like this. I'm sure you guys can see what I'm doing. You guys can see what I'm talking about. So we have this little effect. This is for the sign. All right, so we'll place the banners on a little later. In fact, we'll do it uh, once we're done with the building. All right, so then what you want to do is you want to place white concrete above and inside um i'm pretty sure you guys can see what i'm talking about it's really hard to explain but it's like above the green concrete but it's not directly on the green concrete i guess that's that's the best way i can really explain it but i'm sure you guys can see what i'm talking about so it's not directly on the green concrete but it's like above it i don't know it's weird it's a cool design but it's really hard to explain how to really do it but yeah so you have a Cool design there. All right, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna place um, above where the green concrete would be, but also above the white concrete, you're gonna place um, dark oak wood planks. All right, and then you're gonna go all the way around. All right, like this. This looks really good, like that. All right, and then one, then once you've done that, you're basically going to place the um, slab on top. 
All right, I'm going to place it right on top of there. And then once you've got that done, you're going to take black concrete and you're going to come in here and you're going to basically fill the top up with black concrete so you can see where the black concrete sticks out using the slab. The slab helps it stick out so it's got that weak, cool little design effect where the black concrete like peeks out. Um, it's 10.50. It's 10.50. PM right now, almost 11. But yeah, so you're basically gonna fill the roof with black concrete. Um, black concrete is not the best block to work with, but so far it's working quite nicely. Yeah, and that's basically the building done, guys. Surprisingly, you might think, oh, we have more to do. No, we, this is actually it. This is literally the whole building, and we're not. We're only 15 minutes into the tutorial. We're not even like 20 minutes, and we've already done the building. Like, we're done with everything, basically. Like, that's literally that, yeah. So we still have to put the banner line signs on the uh, thing, but that's the restaurant, guys. That's literally the whole tutorial. Yeah, so you see where the black peeks out. That looks really good. That's literally the tutorial. Yeah, you guys might think I'm pranking you. No. Uh, so now, once you've made your banner letters, um, you can get rid of your materials you have now, and you're going to grab your banner letters. Again, there's a video in my uh, linked in my description box below if you guys don't know how to make banner letters so then you're basically gonna uh, place the banners um, on the thing uh, on the sign and boom Starbucks that looks really really good alright so then yeah that's Starbucks guys I really hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial um, but yeah so now we're gonna make the sign that's an optional touch you guys don't really have to add it but if you're adding it in the city I kinda recommend it so people like a mile away can see uh, where Starbucks is or see that there is a Starbucks so um, I don't have it in my chest what the heck uh, you're gonna grab a uh, light gray concrete and then you're gonna grab um, I still don't have it in my chest what the heck um, green concrete and then quartz stairs which I don't have in my chest so you're gonna need light, co light gray concrete green concrete and then quartz stairs that's what we need the stairs for if you guys are wondering so you're gonna come over here, put where you where you want your sign. You're gonna place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks, and I believe yes, two, right next to each other. All right, and I don't know. Okay, what you're then gonna do is you're gonna place a row of four um, green concrete like this. All right, and then um, then up. And then like this, then up by two on both sides. And then I believe after that, yes, okay. Then after that, boom, 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 boom. Look at that, right? Is that how it is? That's how it is. I thought that wasn't okay. So then here's how it's going to work. So it's really tricky. So you want two upside down stairs on the bottom like this. Okay. Um, and then you want um, stairs facing this way like this. If I can get it. Like that. And then you want upside down stairs on top of each other again like this. Like that. If you guys can see what I'm talking about. Alright. And then at the top you just simply want a right facing stairs like this and then that's the logo that's supposed to be like the, the little queen you know for the logo that's supposed to be the logo you know for the you know the sign you can also make it thicker if you want and then have to be all like this but yeah so that's the that's the tutorial guys that's the building really hope you guys enjoyed it um, but now I'm gonna show you guys the interior I've already given really given you guys a 360 view I don't really need to give you another one so inside, we have uh, some carpet, you know, leading to, you know, the place and everything. Um, here's the kitchen area. We have a coffee area here, obviously. Uh, and then we have a grill, which has a little cute little design on it. We have Starbucks, um, you know, drive-through thing where the man the guy would sit, you know, or the girl, whatever, whoever's managing the drive-through. And then there's a little computer. Be like, hi, you know, and I take your order, you know. And we have uh, cash registers here, and the kitchen is a different flooring. I used iron. 
Uh, the regular flooring is white terracotta. I like uh, white terracotta for restaurants. But we don't have any booths, because Starbucks doesn't really have booths. It's all just tables. But, yeah, so everything. We have some single, single tables for people just sitting by themselves. We have tables where people can sit with their friends. Yeah, so it's a nice, uh, cozy little restaurant. I would definitely like to sit in here and drink some coffee, you know. Yeah, hang out with my friends, you know, play on my computer, do whatever. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty basic interior. There's nothing really too special about the interior, other than it's cozy. But yeah, that's that's the interior of Starbucks. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, smash a like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, road to 300 subscribers. Turn on notifications so you won't miss an upload. Also subscribe to my second channel, LoganC224, and my third channel, LoganC225. Um, but before we peace out, I'll be showing you guys the next city build. Uh, I'm not even going to do the fanfare, because it's already, it's, the, the, the tutorial's all the way over here. Yeah, well, I'll do the fanfare, it's always fun. Whoops. That's right, guys. The next tutorial is going to be how to make a uh, working soda machine. So I really hope you guys will definitely, you guys will definitely like that tutorial. Anyway, guys, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.